Hand setting is an important skill for beach volleyball players of all ages. Unfortunately, due to the high standard of the international rule, the skill can be difficult to execute for younger athletes. The following video includes clips from high performance athletes executing legal handsets. Under the current FIVB rules, a fault occurs when hand setting if 1. There is a caught ball. The ball is caught and or thrown. Or 2. Double contact. A player hits the ball twice in succession or the ball contacts various parts of his or her body in succession. We feel the players are not maximizing the advantages that hand setting affords them in certain situations. Thus, the OVA will use the following rules to adjust the international standard for hand setting during the OVA beach tour. This rule will apply to all age groups 16U and under, and for the 18U Championship, Challenger, and Trillium divisions. New for the 2017 season, a player may have a double contact on their second contact when completing a set to their teammate using an overhead pass provided the ball has a trajectory perpendicular to the line of the player's hands, shoulders, and hips, and the double contact involves only the hands. When enforcing this rule as the player official, it is important to identify which way the athlete is facing and the path of the ball after contact. The double contact is only allowed if the athlete is square to their target. If there is any twisting motion or they're not square to their target, then FIVB international standards will be applied. A caught ball, commonly referred to as a lift, is still illegal. This can be identified if the ball is caught, thrown, or slow to extend through contact. All other ball handling, including side setting, back setting, and bump setting, will be called to the FIV standards and will not be affected by this rule change. We hope this video has been helpful and encourages young athletes to use their hand setting skills on the beach without the fear of losing points due to the high standard of the international rules. If you have any questions, please contact the Ontario Volleyball Association.